Hello everyone, welcome to Group 10's presentation titled Cyber Loafing in the Workplace, The Dark Side. I am Ni Nguyen and I will be your speaker today along with my colleague Renato Mazel. We will cover what cyber loafing is, how it negatively affects the workplace, why it happens, and how it can be prevented. It is important to understand this behavior because it is common, goes often unnoticed, and it incurs costs and risks for organizations that provide internet access. First, let's get a definition. So, what is cyber loafing? It is when employees use their organization's internet access for personal use during work hours. In other words, cyber loafing employees are avoiding their job duties by doing unrelated activities on the computer, but they still look like they are doing their jobs. Anita Blinkard and Christine Henley propose that cyber loafing has two main forms, minor and serious. In their study, they grouped items into what they consider to be minor cyber loafing, which is what they say is the typical cyber loafing at work, and other items were grouped into serious cyber loafing. The groups are shown here. Checking personal email is an example of minor cyber loafing, while downloading music illegally is serious cyber loafing. Serious cyber loafing tends to be more of a problem for companies. According to Blankert and Henley, cyber loafing is problematic when the non-work activities are more time consuming and thus reduce productivity, for example, online shopping. They are inappropriate behavior at work, for example, online gambling, or they expose organizations to legal liabilities. As an example, downloading music. Serious cyber loafing can flood computing resources, which could degrade system performance and clog bandwidth. If employees partake in harassment or illegal activities online, the company can be put at risk. Cyber loafing can also create security issues by increasing the risk of viruses. The behavior is a detriment to organizations and when recognized, many take action. Accessing pornography, online chatting, gaming, investing, or shopping at work were the leading causes for disciplinary action or termination, says David Greenfield and Richard Davis. So why do workers cyber loaf? I will let Renato speak on that. There are quite a few reasons as to why employees cyber loaf, but according to Peter Kerwin, here are a couple of the main reasons behind cyber loafing. Employees tend to cyber loaf mainly when they feel they are treated unfairly in the work environment. Treatment such as feeling unappreciated, overworked, and or underpaid. Boredom is also a very common reason that cyber loafing is seen in the work environment. Employees get bored and figure, I can surf the internet and send out a couple of text messages really quickly. When that is considered cyber loafing and more seriously still in company time. A couple of other reasons why employees cyber loaf are lack of things to do, to cope with work stressors, and conflicting demands. There are an ample number of ways to manage cyber loafing, but according to Maria Triana, the best way to minimize cyber loafing in the workplace is to simply make sure that there is enough work for a full day's work. She says, if employees do not have the time to browse the internet, the chances of them doing so decreases. Another way to potentially manage cyber loafing is attempt to accommodate with some of the reasons your employees cyber loaf. For example, if you know that it's Super Bowl Sunday 
and you have employees that enjoy football, have the game playing in the break room. So whenever employees take their scheduled breaks, they can enjoy the game and be less likely to browse the internet trying to get score updates during company hours. Making sure that your employees actually enjoy the job that they are doing is also a very good way of managing cyber local. Here is a brief clip from Matthew McCarter, an associate professor at USTA, as he gives an in-depth explanation on what cyber loafing is, why it is problematic for companies, and a short study that he conducted to show the likelihood of cyber loafing. So in summary, what is cyber loafing? Cyber loafing is employees' personal usage of their organization's internet access during work hours. What problems does cyber loafing cause? Cyber loafing mainly puts the company at risk as well as causes security issues throughout the organizations. Why do employees cyber loaf? Employees cyber loaf for a number of reasons. A few of those reasons are unfair treatment, boredom at work, lack of work to do, and the different stressors caused at work. Ways to manage cyber loafing? There are a lot of things that can be implemented to help manage cyber loafing. A couple of those things are making each employee feel comfortable, treating all employees fairly, and trying to make accommodations that you know employees will appreciate. Here are the sources used in this presentation. We hope you have a greater understanding of cyber loafing, and we thank you for watching.